If you're looking for a beautiful getaway that's close to home, the Water's Edge Resort and Spa is located right on the shoreline in Westbrook and offers everything from delicious food to comfy accommodations. Here to give us a taste of what's on the menu is Executive Chef John Cortese. John, welcome back to the show. Hi. How you doing? I'm terrific here. Uh, it smells great, and uh, we should mention the Water's Edge. A beautiful place for a wedding, for a party, just about anything. Absolutely gorgeous property. Um, the premier property on the shoreline. Absolutely. We're excited because we're having our Christmas party there this year. <laughs> yes, you are. And um, actually, you just told me it's a Caribbean theme. It so, is. So we're going to probably uh, spice gonna it up. We're going to get on that menu, John. <laughs> Absolutely. But we're going to spice it up for you. So. Sounds fun. Hope, hope you got a strong uh, palate. I palette. do. We're yeah. good. All right, what are we making here today? I see um, bacon, so we're in good shape. Absolutely. You can never go wrong with bacon. But uh, what I did was I took some um, jumbo shrimp, okay, uh, peeled and deveined them, and then wrapped them in applewood smoked bacon, uh, marinated them for a little bit with mm -hmm. uh, roasted garlic oil, and then you just sear them in a pan. The good news with this kind of a dish is you can also do it on the grill. Oh, sure. If you have a hibachi outside or oh, something nice. along those lines, it works either way. Um, for the most part, at the restaurant, I would do it on the grill. Okay. Now, is this something you would find on the menu? Um, it's not actually on the menu, but I do it occasionally as a special, and, um, and I just figured it was a good dish to bring to the show yeah, because sure people, is. literally, it's a simple dish, and um, it's uh, you can make it at home. It's a nice little holiday dish. Yeah. As you can see, you got a nice brown color on the yeah. on the shrimp, and, um, and you cook them up like that. But it's a good holiday little dish. It's uh, not exactly healthy. <laughs> It's okay, it's the holidays. No one's watching. Exactly. Let but for the holidays, we can get away with tell it. Tell me a little bit about the menu. A lot of variety? Yeah. Um, the menu is moving towards the innovative American cuisine, which kind of means that I can do just about anything I want to do. That's great. Um, but we're going to slant it towards regional Italian cuisine as well. Um, so we're going to, you know, there'll be a veal milanese type of a dish, and we, uh, we make fresh pastas. Very nice. Um, on property, so which is. Um, which is nice for a big property. It's, it's unusual. It's really like a little town when you go to Water's Edge. It's They're it's shopping. Unreal. You yeah. don't have to leave the area at all. There's even an arcade. No kidding. I didn't know that. It's fun. <laughs> yeah, there is. All right. Uh, so um, that has to brown on both sides. Yep. It'll only take another minute or so, so we'll go with that. And then one of the things that's going to go with it is um, parsnip. strands of parsnip frites. And what you do to make them is you just take a parsnip okay. and a peeler, and you just go down that's the line crazy. with it. It's Yeah, you can't argue with easy. Um, which I did a little batch here for you if you want to just drop them in there. Sure, sure, we could do that. I know you guys have a, a pretty famous brunch there. Um, it's generally considered to be the premier brunch in all of Connecticut. We win uh, the Connecticut Magazine Award um, pretty much every year. That's funny. Okay. And then we'll just mix them around a little bit like this. Is there a certain temperature that oil has to be at? Um, yeah, but most people aren't going to have a thermometer, a thermometer it, right? at home, okay. so you're probably going to go to uh, medium high. Um, at your at your house, okay. and I'll lower it a little bit here. Um, we're just trying to get a little crispiness out of it. Now, John, um, you're taking for a garnish. Gotcha. Uh, taking reservations for New Year's Eve. Christmas Absolutely, time. we are for New Year's Eve. We do a we do a grand ball. We have a couple of different um, options. You can come in just for dinner. Mm -hmm. um, you can also come in and do a uh, weekend stay with us. For, uh, or weekend, I don't know. actually don't even know exactly what day New Year's <laughs> is falling on. I think it's a Monday, New Year's Eve. Ah, but you can come and stay with us, and then uh, after that we do a brunch the next morning. Oh, fabulous. Um, which in the industry we kind of call it hangover brunch. <laughs> because most people are, there are, mimosas are and recovering. Are there mimosas Absolutely. That's good. That's the best way to recover is to uh, have a couple more little pops. Um, so that's it for the parsnip frites. I'll move this off the off of the burner for now. All right, and I noticed you had a salad dressing over there too. Yes, I did. And uh, what I did was I roasted some garlic. Um, in actuality, I didn't really roast garlic because uh, when you roast garlic, it gets a little bit of bitterness to it. Okay. So what I like to do is I like to take some canola oil, which is a very neutral oil, has no flavor in it um, of its of its own. Um, with olive oil, if you do it at a high temp, mm -hmm. it burns. Okay. Um, so I take a canola oil and lightly simmer peeled cloves of garlic oh. until they soften up. And then you get the sweetness of the garlic, but you don't get the bitterness that you get when you roast it and get that brown tip. color. Yep. It's, uh, it's easy to do at home as well. So okay. um, and you take that and some roasted tomatoes. And for the roasted tomatoes, you just chop them up. Um, I usually use plums um, or Roma tomatoes, same okay. thing. And throw them in the oven for a little while um, at high heat just to get them to um, brown a little, a little bit on the okay. outside. And then you puree the garlic and the tomatoes with some olive oil. Uh, salt, pepper, a little bit of regular garlic. Okay. 
and uh, oh, just lovely. puree it in a blender. It's, uh, it's actually pretty simple to do. Great. Quick and easy. And then these are pretty much done. So what we'll do is we'll take the, dre the uh, salad here. Sure. Look, I'm very helpful. Yes, you are. <laughs> Every, uh, chefs love helpers. <laughs> you know, we'll see, see chef. All right, so you're just dressing <laughs> the salad there. Yep, Pretty and then easy. I'll, yep, very little bit on the top, spread it around. Can't get much simpler. And then you just reach your hand in there, as long as you're wearing gloves. All right, probably the easiest way. And mix it around. I have a little platter over here that I'm going to set them up on, and then we'll put the shrimp over the top. And then I'll drizzle a little bit of the dressing over the shrimp, the parsnip frites, and I have what I call, what, um, I call blistered grape tomatoes. Okay. And um, that's something a little harder to do at home because uh, you take the tomatoes and you put them under a heat lamp. Oh, not everyone Which has that, huh, John? Not everybody has All right, a heat you're going to plate this up for us. We're yes, going to try this at the end of the show. Of course, we'll have the recipe over on WTNH.com. Water's Edge is located in Westbrook. Visit uh, the website, watersedgeresortandspa.com for more information. All right, we're going to dig in in a little bit. All right. Thanks, John. You're welcome. Up next, we'll tell you all about the friends of Jimmy Miller when Connecticut Salad returns. Don't go anywhere.